NVIDIA releases two driver versions for the exact same GPU, Game Ready and Studio. Same architecture, same code base. The internet will tell you Game Ready is for gamers and Studio is for creators, but I just tested both on my RTX 5070 and found something nobody's talking about. Studio 591.74 fixed the cyberpunk stuttering that's been broken on my rig for the whole two driver branches. Game Ready didn't. First, let's talk about what these drivers actually are. Game Ready drivers update half monthly with day one optimizations and experimental features. Studio drivers update monthly and are certified for creative applications like Premiere Pro and Blender. But here's the thing they don't tell you. Both drivers use the exact same GPU architecture. The core rendering code is identical. Game Ready gets half monthly updates, which sounds great until you realize these updates means less testing time. Studio gets monthly updates, which means more time to find and fix bugs before release. And Nvidia has a pattern here. Driver 591.59 launched in December with color banding issues and digital vibrance bugs. Nvidia had to rush out Emergency Hotfix.67 two weeks later to fix the driver they just released. Before that, Driver.44 completely broke Final Fantasy XII. The game would crash during shader compilation. Players had to downgrade to Driver 581.80 to play the game they paid for. This is a pattern. NVIDIA releases game-ready drivers on a strict monthly schedule. Whether they're ready or not, bugs get reported, NVIDIA scrambles to fix them, and the cycle repeats. Studio drivers use older code that's already been through this bug fix cycle. Okay, so I tested both drivers. .74 game-ready and Studio released in January. Same version number. Both claim to fix the color banding. I ran benchmarks in a few games. Escape from Tarkov, Cyberpunk, Marvel Rivals, Counter-Strike 2, Battlefield 6, and others. Average FPS went up 1-2% to across most games on Studio versus Game Ready. Not huge, but consistent. But here's the important part that actually matters. 1% lows and 0.1% lows. Cyberpunk 2077 has been stuttering for a while. I'm talking about frame drops during driving through Night City, random hitches during combat, stutters that break immersion. It wasn't a GPU bottleneck because average FPS was fine. It was the 1% lows tanking. On Game Ready, 591.74, the stuttering is still there. Same random frame drops, same inconsistent frame times. On Studio 591.74, it's gone. The 1% lows are stable. The 0.1% lows are way better. The game feels smooth now in a way it hasn't felt for three driver versions. This isn't placebo. I can see it in the frame time graph. Studio fixed something that Game Ready left broken. So why is Studio smoother if they're supposedly the same driver? Because Studio uses older, more stable code. Game Ready 591.74 has all the Bleeding Edge DLSS 4.5 features and experimental optimizations that NVIDIA rushed out to meet their monthly deadline. Studio has those same features, but the code has been through extra testing and bug fixes before release. The frame time consistency is better because NVIDIA actually took time to iron out the stutters. This is exactly what the some people in community has been saying for years. Studio drivers are more stable for gaming, even though NVIDIA markets them as creator drivers. And if you go look at NVIDIA's official feedback thread for 591.74, you'll see I'm not the only one having issues with Game Ready. Users are reporting black screen crashes on RTX 4090 cards with the Game Ready version. One user said, quote, Ever since updating to 591.59 and 591.74 on the RTX 4090, I have been having black screen crashes in games. Multiple users confirmed that while 591.74 fixed some color banding, some banding is still visible, and users are saying version 581.80 was the last truly stable release. This is NVIDIA's own forum. Their own users are telling them the Game Ready drivers are broken. Now let's talk about creator apps. I tested Premiere Pro, Blender, and DaVinci Resolve on both drivers. Studio was consistently 4 to 5 seconds faster on multi-minute renders. Not huge, but the real advantage isn't speed, it's stability. Zero crashes during heavy workloads. If you're working on a client project, stability matters more than a few seconds of render time. Studio is certified for these apps, which means NVIDIA actually tests them before release. But here's the catch NVIDIA buried in the release notes. The Studio version has a known issue with Photolab 9, where the application crashes when processing large images. This is documented documented in user reports, but not in NVIDIA's official patch notes. So if you're a photographer using Photolab, the stable studio driver will crash your workflow. NVIDIA knew about this before release and shipped it anyway. The Game Ready version doesn't have this specific bug, but it has the general instability and stuttering issues I already mentioned. Here's another thing nobody talks about. Update frequency and your mental bandwidth. Game Ready updates half monthly. That means every release you're making a decision. Do I update and risk new bugs, or stay on my current stable driver? Studio updates monthly. You make this decision 12 a year instead of 24. If you you just want your PC to work without constantly managing driver updates, Studio is objectively less annoying. Game ready? You're babysitting your GPU drivers every month, checking Reddit to see if the new version breaks your favorite game. And Windows Update behaves differently with each driver type. When you install game ready drivers, Windows Update will try to auto-install newer versions within a week. When you install Studio drivers, Windows Update leaves them alone more consistently. If you've ever had Windows Update break your perfectly working GPU drivers, Studio drivers avoid this problem more reliably. So here's the verdict. If you game, especially if you play Cyberpunk or 
or other demanding single-player games where smoothness matters, use Studio Drivers. You get 1-2% to better FPS, way better frame time consistency, and you avoid the stuttering issues that Game Ready still hasn't fixed. The myth that Game Ready gives you better gaming performance is just marketing. Studio is smoother. If you're a creator who also games, definitely use Studio Drivers. You get slightly better performance in Premiere and Blender, better stability during renders, and your games run smoother. Exception, if you use Photolab 9. If you're a competitive gamer who needs day one support for new game releases, this is the only scenario where Game Ready makes sense. If a brand new game launches and you need specific optimizations on day one, Game Ready will have them, and Studio might wait three months. But you're trading that day one support for stuttering and crashes. And here's the justice part. NVIDIA could just release one driver that's properly tested and stable. They don't need two separate branches. Game Ready exists, so NVIDIA can market day one game support and rush drivers out monthly to keep marketing momentum going. Studio exists, so they can sell certified drivers that are really just game ready code from three months ago that's had time to get bug fixes. It's the same code, just at different points in the testing cycle. NVIDIA is making you choose between cutting edge features with bugs or stability with older features, when they could just take two extra weeks to properly test the cutting edge version before releasing it. If you're on game ready right now and experiencing stuttering in Cyberpunk or other games, switch to Studio. Use DDU to completely remove your current driver. I have a full video on that linked in the description. Then do a clean install of Studio 591.74. Your 1% lows will improve and the stuttering will go away. I tested this myself. It works. If you want me to keep testing this stuff so you know which drivers are actually safe to install, subscribe because I'm doing this for every major NVIDIA and AMD driver release. I don't trust their patch notes anymore. Drop a comment if you've had stuttering issues. I'll see you in the next one.